Hi, this is Lance Filio from ekpotomo.wordpress.com. Okay, again, we can see here five propositions. One, two, three, four, five. And we want to relate them to each other and then uh, relate them by using a method here as explained by Bible Arc. You can actually relate two propositions by either coordinates or subordinates. Coordinate meaning does each proposition um, um, relate to each other as a series, as a progression. So it's a, it's a coordinate, it's a success, uh, uh, a two proposition that actually supports each other as like a series of sentences or a narrative in that case. Uh, the second one is subordinate. Uh, subordinate is actually, there's a main clause or a main pro uh, proposition and then the succeeding um, proposition are support or subordinates to that main proposition. So it can either be a statement or a distinct statement, either making a ground, uh, a, a conclusion, an action for a result or an action for a purpose. Or it can be either if, then, else arguments. So here, and the last is contrary, it's either subordinate and then the second one is a contrary statement. Okay, so here uh, we, can, we can actually place uh, some um, relationships already. Uh, we can start by uh, mm, choosing proposition that is already obvious. Okay, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the reading of the mind. The Allah here is a giveaway saying that both of these propositions are actually either positive negative statements. So this is an action that is either a negative or a positive action. So one is saying, Paul is saying that the positive action is be transformed by the reunion of the mind and the opposite uh, and the negative actually action would be being conformed to this world and Paul is saying not to be confirmed so meaning he's just saying uh, that this is the negative uh, way to act so if we do not do this and do this then you're saying that that kind of action uh, is the transforming of the reunion of the mind so the positive action here is the transformation of the re uh, by the transformation by the renewing of your mind so it can be combined and be said that this is uh, 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 related um, propositions, related, these are related propositions, and this somehow, uh, both of them are actually related as well to the, the next proposition, which is here, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect, and how this two, these two relates. Well, the action here is obvious, the action is being transformed. So it is actually a subordinate, a distinct, a distinct statement uh, from the second one, which is the testing that you may do. So here you can see that the action has a, uh, somehow uh, d was done so that uh, it will result to a certain discernment of the will of God. So we can actually say here that this, that the transformation of the removing of the mind is actually uh, resulting to be, for a Christian to know what, what, what God's will is, the perfect will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. So it's an action res, result relationship. So we can close that out again as a relationship. So both of them are related as an action result. So by transforming uh, by being transformed by the reading of mind, we will be able, as a result, to discern what is the will of God, His good, acceptable, and perfect will. So how does it relate to its previous sentence? Uh, that's, this is going to be a bit tricky now. As you can see here, the therefore actually gives us an idea that there is actually a conclusion being made, either a conclusion or a, a ground. And we can actually make an assumption already and make an observation that Paul is trying to show them that because God is merciful, that because of that kind of mercy that God shown, he can actually urge them to present their bodies as a living sacrifice. So the, the, the mercy of God is actually the ground. Okay? So we place it here as a ground for the presentation of the bodies as a living sacrifice. So that's 
how the two propositions are related. But how is or the whole of that, the two propositions related to the entire, the entire proposition here in verse 2? Well, that's uh, that's me. Then I, I mean, this I, I I need I need to see this as something that um, that the action clearly is about being transformed, the learning of the mind, so that it will result to discerning what is good and acceptable. And this is being um, this is established because um, the conclusion is. Because they can actually present their bodies as a living sacrifice because God is merciful. Because God is so merciful, he, he can actually be transformed by the ruling of the mind and to discern what is, as a result, discern what is good, acceptable uh, to God because of God's mercy they can present the bodies as a living sacrifice. So I see it as a conclusion. So this entire action here in, the, in verse 2 is actually uh, a, a statement that leads to the conclusion that actually they can actually present their bodies as a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is their spiritual worship. So this is it. This is how... Romans 12, 1 to 2 relates.